But with this asset, on my original character, NX, I want to show a bit more this week. I'm going into the anatomy portion. I'm building up the muscles. I'm definitely setting the difference between the, the traps. So the, the back of the traps are a little bit more exaggerated for this character. So the back of the traps, the side, front. I wanted to actually show a little bit more to give the illusion of it being actually strained and pulled from the muscle. Um, that was one of the, the biggest hits that I had from, from last week that I wanted to elaborate on. Um, giving more of a sense of um, the muscle being uh, flexed at this point. So the, uh, more so of the, the veins that are popping up. Uh, this week I wanted to give more emphasis on the, the collarbone and how the neck structure actually is um, defined. I'm giving more of the, the neck muscles and looking at the anatomy. I'm mixing more so of uh, a real anatomy uh, reference. I'm looking at how the, the muscles in the neck strain. And even when it comes to um, a more muscular character or the, the muscle um, structure of a more muscular um, reference, I wanted to look at that and see how that actually pertains to the still the basic foundation. And it's pretty much the same. Um, some of the muscles are just going to be wider and thicker and more, um, in a sense, protruding than just in your, your normal muscle reference. Uh, from here, I wanted to cut down on the number of sub-tools that I had. Um, before, I had the, the fangs. I had the, the horns that are coming out. I had the side structure. I had this part where the fangs were actually kept and had the eyes. And then I had the actual main um, bust. But on this point, I, I got rid of some of the main sub-tools that I had. Um, from here, all I did was just mask this off and actually um, pull this out. I kept the fangs and just sort of, or the horns rather, and just had those relocated to, to fit in with this portion right here. Uh, when it comes to the fangs, I actually decided to uh, remove those for this week. I'm actually going forward with this character. I'm not going to have them added except for um, when needed. Um, if this was animated or illustrated, I will have the other things protruding in and out. They're not going to be shown um, predominantly as a permanent fixture with this character. Um, also this week I wanted to get into, I'm elaborating more so on, his, on the eyes. Um, giving more of an eyeball, eye socket. Um, the muscle around the eye, I wanted to emphasize that more so this week as well. I'm giving more life to his, to his eyes at this point. I'm defining where the eyelid would be, how the eyelids can actually close down, and then just giving more facial structure that are under the eye. Since the eye is going to be larger than just uh, the eye socket itself, I wanted to give some of that feeling that it's going to protrude out and push that muscle forward. Um, another aspect that I wanted to address this week were the, the eyes on top of the head. Um, of course, the spider has four eyes, and the previous um, renditions of this asset, the bottom four eyes look pretty much the same, and then I just had circles on top. Um, that, I felt, was misleading. Um, didn't necessarily convey that they were going to be actually the, the other four eyes. So this week, what I wanted to do was go back in and, and build that into it. Um, give a little bit more of the, the head structure as far as how the, the skeletal portion would be for the skull. Um, just to back up and reinforce how that would be for these extra eyes. So at this point, since it is a tarantula in a sense, um, at this point it will give more definition on the facial structure to actually show the support of having those four eyes. Add in a bit more detail coming in for the, the facial structure. Um, I wanted to show a little bit more as far as some of the, the line work would be. Um, some of the geometry that I'm presenting in here is it's going to be more so for the support of the skull. I gave a bit more definition than I should have. I know that uh, once we go back in for the UVs that a lot of this is going to be covered up and I'm not going to see it. But just to add more life to the, the facial structure and also for what I was doing to refine the, my secondary forms, I wanted to go back in and give a little bit more direction on what it was going to be like. Um, for these parts on the, the back of the skull, going down the back, uh, this is going to be more of a spinal spinal line uh, for his spine. Uh, what I'm going to do with this later is to, to give more definition when it comes to the, the final bust. 
um, for the spine is going to have more of a bone structure as far as the muscles being grafted to it. I'm sort of alluding to that right now. But the bones, once I go into high detail, I'll be able to go in and sculpt those more so and have that be a predominant part of the, the asset from the back. Um, also with that, the exoskeleton is going to be more of a, a bony feel to it. Um, the reference or the thought process that I had sort of um, gives load to like a, a crocodile almost, how it comes across the ridge and around the eyes. What I want to do is just give a, a bony type sense to it just to show how dense that it actually is. Um, when it comes to its exoskeleton, it's not going to necessarily have anything extra built on top of this head. Um, the, the rest of it will be built around the body. So as far as uh, the head portion, the exoskeleton is actually built in for the, the density of his skull. That would be the protective feature for his head. Um, from here, definitely this week I learned a lot more in comparison to week one. Um, definitely building up, once I got past my primary and primitive shapes, I wanted to get into the secondaries and really start really defining that. Um, each week that's gone by, I felt that I was able to take what was given as far as the guidance and the critiques and really try and push this asset further. Um, this week, I'm excited to see exactly what else I, could, I can do to try and push this and really refine it and fine tune what I already have in place. Um, so if there's any words of encouragement, um, guidance, any critiques, I am standing by. Thank you.